What's going on guys? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I am bringing you the Generation 3 infamous EMEC Murder Machine Trigger. Three generations later, they got this baby nailed down, right Mark? Murder. Wouldn't you say? We're talking, we're talking murder. What does the murder machine trigger go in? Uh, it goes into the EMEC, of course. Oh, why? I wasn't sure. Oh, can you, you got a zoomed in shot of these bad boys? As far as I can go. Oh, as far <laughs> as he can go. So let's talk about them. Uh, third generation. We're not going to, we're not going to play nice here. Let's get down to the cut here. The first two generations, agree with me, Mark. They had some flaws. There were some things going on with them, but now they've got everything refined, dialed in and ready to go. As you guys know, well, if you don't know, now you're going to know, there is new milling on these triggers. You sign my paycheck. I'll agree with anything you say, Tony. That's fine. You see that though, Mark, right. what that is also? Those are those carrier bearings. Smooth. Smooth, baby. Smooth. So we've got uh, black, red, and gold onto the actual stats of the trigger themselves. So it does come like the other ones. Which, which trigger shows up best in your camera, Mark? And they all look good. I'm do the red one. Just okay, the red it. one. You've got the skull at the bottom of the trigger there. Can you see it? Yes. A little tiny skull. You got a skull there, just adding a little extra flair and letting you know who you're purchasing it from. I wouldn't even be able to show these with my fat fingers, but there are mm -hmm. tiny skulls. You can look at the other ones. On the actual new pin itself, right there, there's a tiny skull engraved, just adding a little bit of extra flair on there. And also, there on this new pin, there's only one way this pin is going in the trigger and onto your gun. They've made it easier to understand now. Before, it was just literally a silver pin that could slide through both ways. Now, there is only one way that this can be installed on your EMEC marker. It has a fatter end here and then a skinnier end on the backside. Obviously, you probably won't. I don't know if you can zoom down that much, but... I think that's a challenge. Let us know if you can get the fat end to go through your gun. <laughs> so, yeah, if you can get the fat end to go through this trigger, your carrier bearings are going to be destroyed. So I wouldn't recommend, but that is Mark's challenge. Uh, on to the good stats of the trigger. Other than the bearings, you do have uh, pre-travel and post-travel setting options on there. Some people like a longer trigger pull. Some people like a shorter trigger pull on their EMAC. I'm personally a guy that wants a shorter trigger pull to get many paintballs out per second as possible. It does have an actuation point too as well. Uh, located... I'll grab the red one. The actuation set screw is going to be up, up top in there so you guys can actually, how quick you want this trigger to snap back on you. So there's definitely, there's multiple options. It's not just a new milled out fancy trigger with a nice new pin. You guys have the pre-travel, post-travel, and actuation set screws you guys can mess with to customize the gun to your, you know, specific preference. So, Mark, what do these things retail at? Are they... These are 46 or 4695 I think. So you're between 45 and 50 bucks. I think they're 4695 I want to say. Check them out on LomoPaintball.com. You guys can do uh, color options and orders on there. Uh, quick little video on introducing the new Gen 3 trigger. Um, so stats, Mark. Uh, Pre-travel, post-travel, the new carrier bearings. Oh, aircraft aluminum. These are made out of aircraft aluminum, so uh, they're going to be durable for you. And Which I think the old ones were too, but I think the yeah. milling on these is a little bit nicer. I and think there's no sharp edges. I didn't want to get into completely bashing the older, you know, generation ones. But hey, there were flaws. People fix them and new models always come out. I mean, there, there's recalls on cars, right? So sometimes you don't nail it right the first time, but they're back. People give their cars back? Yeah, dude. They get recalled. Oh. You know, your airbags are faulty. Your tire's going to fall off. So, yeah, they refined it. Uh, I, like, I, like, I like what they did with it over there at Infamous Paintball. So, thanks for that. Available at LomoPaintball.com. Do you have anything else you'd like for me to say? Yes, because I have a question from the YouTubes. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, the triggers are great. I'd grab one if you don't have a... Correct. And the Emacs are super popular. We can't even keep these things in stock, so... Yes. Uh, Zin, Zinkai, Zinski. Okay. I'm not sure. Should he purchase an Etha 2 or save up for a GTEC 170R? Good question. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I've got my answer, but I'll. 
Here's an ETH2 or save up for the 170. ETH2 is a workhorse, but for an extra 300 bucks, personally, I would save up for the 170. You're not going wrong either way though. So if you, you think it's going to take you too long to get an extra 300 bucks, definitely go with the ETH2. But if you can, you can wait it out and save it up, get the 170. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, if you can wait it out, my my answer was going to be depends on how long it's going to take you to save Correct. up that extra. Yeah. If you want something new that's going to work for a long time and you want to go play with it this weekend, you got the money. Buy the Ether two. Ether two is a workhorse. Yeah, yeah, but if it's only going to take you like a week or two to get the one seventy and you got something else to play with, just hold on. Do it, and do it that way. Thanks so. for the questions, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little overview of what is new on the trigger and shop lomopaintball.com. See ya.